He looked at me and he said, do you think I can still play? And I said, absolutely. That's why I'm here to be here to help you. He said, he said, you know, to be my coach, you have to believe in me and believe I can still play. And I said, Michael, I believe it. He said, you did the right thing tonight. You did the right thing tonight. I don't care about the points, but I needed to know that you believe in me. Fast forward, we get on the plane. He has a few cocktails, smokes a couple cigars, all the things you're not supposed to do. Yeah. We get back about 3.30 in the morning in Washington. At 7.30 that morning, he's down in the fitness room with Tim Grover working out like you can't believe. Now, he's 41 years old. We play the New Jersey Nets the next night, and Michael scores the first three times he has the ball. Byron Scott takes a timeout, and My- Michael comes over and he says, I want the ball right there the rest of the game, and don't take me out till I tell you. And so that's, that's fine by me. So with <laughs> Two minutes to go in the game, he gives me the sign, like, that's enough. I take him out of the game. He walks over to the bench. I said, like, Michael, like, what happened tonight? He said, well, the guy who was guarding me was telling me, told me his back was hurting. Don't ever tell me you got a problem. He said, I'll, I'll make you pay for that. 51 points later, 51 points at age 41. He came back the next game with 46. And he looked at me and he said, I told you I could still play. 97 points. I, I, I mean, I, Mike, I was absolutely blown away uh, at what this guy could do. His his mind, how strong it was. I mean, he's playing on one leg. I mean, he cut his finger, you know, with a, you know, doing a cigar. He had a, his, his finger was bent. He had a bad knee. The competitive will and great. I've never I've never seen anything like it. Mm-hmm. But that moment when he looked at me and asked me if I still believed in him, as this is the greatest player to play the game, wanting to know if I still believed in him. Uh, it was it was a it was a moment I would never ever forget.